Hi guys, and today I'm playing A Girl Behind a Wall. A young college student whose name is Alan C. moves into an old apartment and gets along with a girl behind his wall. I don't know. <laughs> so someone's living behind his wall? I'm gonna assume that she's dead or something. Not that long ago, I moved to this apartment. Since my first night here, I kept hearing weird noises coming from the wall. My guess it might be rats. And because of those <laughs> those little shits, I haven't slept in days, so we all know what's coming. Get ready to be drilled, you gray ass bastards! Who's there? Ugh. I didn't realize there was someone next to my apartment. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I promise I'll be quiet. Oh my god, I won't be able to live through another change of place because of complaints from neighbors. Hold your mouth shut, Alan. Oh, it's okay. I wasn't angry or anything. Just surprised that someone moved in here. Oh, well, okay then. Would you mind to chat a little longer? You mean like face to face? No, no. Through the wall will be fine. Don't bother. Um, alright. Sounds kind of weird, but I think that she might be too tired to get out of the room this late just to talk with her new neighbor. How long ago did you move in here? Two or three days ago. Huh, alright. What's your name, by the way? Alan Chernovsky. Hope I said that right. What's yours? Oh wait, let me guess. Do you have red hair? Uh, really smart. No. Huh, sorry. Okay, I lied. Yes, I do. Ha, huh, I knew you sounded like a redhead. How do you know someone sounds like a redhead? What do you mean I sound like a redhead? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I meant that you have an Irish accent, so I assumed you might have red hair. It's Polish. Oh, I get it now. Sorry. That's ugh, nothing. What's your name again? I'm actually... You can call me Sam. That's what my friends used to call me. Okay, Miss Sam. Hope that we'll get along as neighbors. Wow, where did that miss come from? Aren't you 40 years old or something? Aren't you making fun of me or do you actually think I'm that old? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Okay, I'll go to sleep now if you don't mind. Sorry for bothering you. Alright, thanks for the chat. You're welcome. See you soon then. Bye. Day 1 On the next day, I noticed some weird stains in the wall. What the- Hey! What the hell is this? Is the wall leaking? What's the matter? Oh, hi. Is the wall leaking from your side too? Huh? No, I don't think so. Alright then. Maybe I damaged some tubes yesterday? Oh god, definitely getting kicked out. Don't worry, that happens sometimes. Really? Thank god then. I thought I messed something up. Yeah, you better not do stuff like that again. Sorry? Get your stuff from the boxes to the shelves. Need to use a mouse click on items. Okay. Uh, so let's click on this spare t-shirt, my textbook, the tea set my grandma gave me, my pencil case. Okay, let me put it right here. Sure, I have a lot of stuff. Are you sneak? Are you thinking a peek through the holes? No, no, I could just hear stuff mushing. Do you have a whole ass tea set there? Well, duh. Don't people people usually have these? They were a gift from my grandmother. Did something happen to her? What do you think usually happens to old people? She retired and moved to... Turkey? Told me to take care of the tea set. Oh, phew. That's actually really sweet of you. It's not. It's just the right thing to do. And I don't mind keeping it either. Looking at the... Looking at this makes me feel nostalgic about my childhood. Like I believe that objects have memories, you know? Like that teapot, for example. Ugh, oh god. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hate to soak this in baking soda to get rid of that smell. <laughs> You're a funny person, Alan. Thanks. 
Would you mind exchanging photos? Exchange what? I'm not gonna send some random women my nudes. Why in the world would I ask for nudes? I just, ugh, it's hard to explain, but I feel kind of uncanny not seeing the person I'm talking to. But I'm too lazy to go out right now. Um, okay. Dude, what's happening? Well then, could you give me your number? You'll be alright to use Bluetooth instead. This conversation is so weird. Are you actually under 40? I am. I just don't have Wi-Fi here, okay? I don't have any money on my phone either. Alright, alright, got it. Wait, I need to find a decent one at least. Just take a selfie. What's bothering you? Ah, uh, no way. Not happening. Sheesh. Uh, this one? Okay, here. I've sent it. Me too. Well, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about my looks? Oh god, what should I do now? If I say she looks good, she'll think I'm hitting on her. But if I say the opposite, she'll get upset as well. Oh, uh, um, uh, you look fine. Is that okay? Thanks, I know I really am. You worked. You look cute too. Ugh. Also, if you're being curious, I wasn't being flirty or anything. Just curious. Good to know. Day three of their weird conversations? Welcome back. Jesus, don't you have anything better to do? No, no offense, but do you have so much free time that you're waiting around to talk to the guy next to your apartment? Trust me, I have plenty of free time. That girl is so weird. It's just so lonely here. And you're the first person to move into this apartment in a long time. Why? Is something bad happening here? Oh, you don't want to know. Then why did you tell me in the first place? Now I won't be able to sleep normally, tell me. Jeez, I was just joking. Don't worry about it. This actually happened on my side. You mean in your apartment? Yeah. Someone got kidnapped and was held here. Damn. Yeah. But let's switch to something more positive. Are you busy right now? Uh, well, uh, not really, but I'll need to study while talking. Do you mind? Not at all. Actually, you're a student. What specialization? Uh, Institute National... Do... National Heritage Institute? IMP for short, the restoration, if you don't know. No way. Yes way. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Ugh, thanks. Now, I get what your, your love for old stuff has come from. Well, you could call it that. I mean, I had a choice just to go to my local art institute, but I just don't feel compelled by doing something new and not unique when there's so much historically meaningful things being tossed. Out because of how time has warned and damaged them. Oh, sorry, I'm probably going too far with my rambling. No, no, it's okay. It's interesting. I get what you're talking about. Alright then. What's your specialization? Not as interesting as yours. Judicial? Advocacy? Wow, commendable. Eh, I know, I'm miraculous. Oh wait, I need to sneeze? <laughs> what? Oh, that didn't look normal. Not you? Bless you. Thank you. Well, that was studying for tonight. Time to go to bed. Good night, Alan. You too. What the hell is that sound? What is it? Oh! Come. Jesus Christ, that would be freaked out if I saw that! What in God's name? What? Day 4? Okay, I need to get my stuff and get out of here quick. Wait, where are you going? Oh, sorry, I just... There were some weird things going on tonight, and I'm not planning to stay here any longer. What? Why? Do you remember the story you told me yesterday? I've seen something creepy. I'm not planning to stay here any longer. These walls have memories. Please wait. What? I know it'll sound weird after all the time we've been talking, but I'm being kept in here. The person who got kidnapped is me, and I can't open the door because the door is barred with concrete. Wait, what? The only way to get out of here is to break the wall. Please, Alan. Free me. This can't be the truth, right? Why wouldn't she have told me earlier to call the cops or something? Wait, then why didn't you tell me this on the first day we talked? 
The kidnappers were around and I was afraid I didn't want to make them think I would ask for help. But why, why would you, they even let you talk to me in the first place? That doesn't matter right now, Alan. The only thing that matters is to break that wall as soon as possible for to get back. That doesn't seem right. All that time she was so calm and playful, I didn't notice a single thing wrong. But how did you send me a photo then? They did it, so you wouldn't get the idea that there's something wrong with me. Alan, please, all I'm asking is for you to help me escape, come on. But how am I supposed to break the wall? Just use that axe you have over there. But how did you- Come on. We don't have any more time. I do not want to break this wall. Can I have a choice? Alright, I'll try it back- Just back off there. Oh dear god, thank you, Alan. I can imagine how long I was waiting for this. I grabbed the axe and started to swing it repeatedly at the wall. Chop. After chop. Chips mixed with fragments of concrete fly in all directions, scratching my hands. But I couldn't stop. I had to save her before it's too late. After making a hole in the wall, a horrifying and pungent stent fill stench filled my nose. The smell of rot and concrete. Sam? I, I found something odd. Sam? Well, it's moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. I stepped back and closed my eyes when something fell on me. Wow, this really worked. Sam's voice was surprisingly close to my face. The thing that fell on me should have been her, but... Hi, Alan. Oh, wow. Not that long ago. Oh. Didn't even let me finish. So we all know what's coming. Alan! Uh, I didn't realize there was- Wait, is this repeating? Wait, did someone just call me by my name? Sorry, do I know you? No answer. Alright then. The heck? It's weird. On the next day, I noticed some weird stains on the wall. What the? Hey! What the hell is this? Is the wall leaking? Huh? Oh, hi. Is the wall leaking from your side too? Uh, no, I think not. Alright then. Maybe I damaged some tubes yesterday? Oh god, I'm definitely getting kicked out. I'm sorry about yesterday for not answering, I mean. I'm Sam. Alan Chabreski. But wait, didn't you mention my name earlier? Do you know me? Oh, I think I've seen you before in... The Institute of National... I can't say that. Was it? Uh, you study there too? No, no. Just been there once. Okay. I'll go back to unpacking my stuff then. To be continued. the wall don't i don't know about this are you actually kidding me right now a girl got kidnapped and held in the apartment for days and you're refusing to save her that's not it i just what you don't trust me what's well, game over so we have to save her oh ending four wrong wait endings how many endings are there the bathroom. Oh, wait, we just walk out? Is that apartment that small? What? I didn't realize we lived in such a small apartment. Oh, wow. Okay, so for another ending, I have to walk in and out of the apartment ten times from the guide I saw from the developer's uh, video on 
I don't know why walking in out of the in and out of the apartment just broke something. It says we broke it. Don't know if we broke the game itself or not, but uh yeah. Okay, so I tried to fight like three under endings, but I couldn't find any. Not really sure what else I was supposed to do. So uh yeah, I've only found like three so far. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!